Howdy chaps, welcome back to some more Dragon Quest V. I have a few little updates, nothing major though, I haven't really done any leveling uh, in between videos this time, but I have, as you can see, put our new golem friend on the team. Uh, just for now anyway. And uh, I have called him Martin, because uh, someone requested that way, way back in a previous video, and it's kind of, kind of cool actually, I'm kind of digging that because that is my name, if you didn't know. So, uh, we've got Martin the Golem, who apparently is going to learn something really super good, according to the comments. I don't know what it is, so thank you for not spoiling that, by the way. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna probably progress the story. Um, but first, but first, I have got an idea as to what I want to do with our Golem friend. I'm thinking, because I was told that the Hella or whatever, whatever you, however you call it, um, the armor that we got, the cursed armor last time, I think it reduces agility by quite a lot, but you do gain a huge amount of defense. So, I was thinking, since our golem friend is super freaking slow anyway, his agility is way lower than anyone else's, uh, which makes sense because he's a big hulking massive brick, I think it might be a good idea to maybe try out this armor on him. Which would, he can wear it, would increase his defense to 195. I think that's kind of insane. So I think we're going to do that. We're going to equip it. Uh, someone said also that the Sheen spell that Yangus has can remove curse from people, but it doesn't remove a curse effect from an item. So, and that's fine. If, if all we have to do is put it with a little bit of... Um, well, less agility on Martin, then that is... Oh, you know what? It's, it's actually really weird saying my full name. I actually am not the biggest fan of saying my full, like, real name. You know what I mean? It's weird. Like, most people just call me Marty or something. Or Mage. I actually prefer Mage. But anyway, um, we are going to equip it. And... I think we should be... I mean, I don't know what else to give him. Can he equip... Okay, well, you can have a bronze shield. Do I have... Oh, I have an iron shield. That should be better. Uh, yes, there we go. Oh my god, th this this thing is going to just be the tankiest of the tanks. I have no idea weapon-wise what it can equip. Um, let's try an iron helmet. Yes, 227 defense, dude. Oh my lord. And yeah, we've got... I sorted out my inventory off-screen, which is cool. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what... I don't know what a golem would be able to use. A miracle sword, perhaps? No. Probably a morning star? No. Maybe claws? Um... Where are my weapons? Like, a chain whip? <laughs> oh, I'd be so good if I could give him, uh, Debbie's nails. That'd be, that'd be hilarious. Please tell me I can. No! Damn it. What about, uh, <clears throat> what about a whip? No, okay. Yeah, I'm thinking probably claws. Let's try the iron claws. No! Okay, what kind of weapons can he use then? A knife? I mean, then again, I mean, a golem... Probably doesn't need. I wouldn't think it needs any. It just uses its freaking arms. They are made of brick or stone or whatever the type of golem is. So maybe we won't bother for now. But at least its its defense is kind of huge. It's so huge, and uh, I think that is good. So we're gonna try and see how Martin fares on the party. We've still got Sancho, Veronica, Volley, and uh, old Gurgi in the carriage, and I sent back... Did I send anyone? Oh no, I don't think I sent anyone back to the... to the monster place. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. That's the party. I... don't know... Wait a minute, what is... his attack stat? He's got 120 strength. Jesus Christ. Zero agility. So he is always going to act last, but I... I really hope that, I mean, especially, I think what we want to do is probably put him, like, 
leading the way. Kind of, because obviously I think enemies are more likely to attack the first member of the party. So... That would be pretty... That would be pretty freaking sweet. Now... I... D we'll see. We'll see how this goes. And that means we get to walk around as a freaking golem. Oh my god. That is so good. So now, what we want to be doing is sailing north, don't we? Uh... Yeah, let's... See how this goes. Wait a minute, just one more, one more thing. So 120 attack, yeah. So we, pretty weak. I really need to look up and see what weapons he can use, if any. And um, yeah, apparently, according to you guys, he's gonna learn something super freaking good. Uh, but let's set off. Let's finally progress a little bit of the plot. In fact, we're already kind of north, actually. So let's go. Over this way. And see if we can make land anywhere. Okay, we've seen all these enemies before, but we do want to test out our new member here, so... He, ha he doesn't have any battle abilities, he doesn't have any spells. But really, if he can just soak up a bunch of damage... I would be more than happy with that. Also, ooh, the Wallop Scallops can use uh, Whack, can't they? So I should probably focus on killing them first. Yes. But, um, I'm, I'm excited. I'm so glad we got a golem. Ooh, that critical. And, yeah, as, we, as we've seen, we, we attacked last there with Martin. That, that makes a lot of sense. That's fine, though. Ooh, now. How fast is he going to level? Okay. Yanga's level 21. Pretty crappy stat increases there, Yanga Smeal Chum. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll look up and maybe you guys will tell me if there's any sp specific types of weapons that we can get for our golem friend. Um, right, let's check out this new continent. Ooh, now that looks cool. Some sort of castle town? Don't know how we get down there, though. Um, and there's also a bunch of... Oh god, is that an underwater castle? Holy shit. Wow. Mandrake Majors, eh? They look kind of scary. Let's see how tough they are. Wow. We, we dodged that? Are you serious? That is, that's an underwater castle or something. And a cave, which is probably how we get to it. Interesting. I kind of want to get to that town first, though, just to have a zoom location. Let's see if we can find a way down there. It might... Oh, ho, ho, look look who we have. Uh, we might have to make land somewhere else with a ship, perhaps. But I'm, I'm just going to have a wander. So he did, he did 24 points of damage to our golem, which um, is not much, really, because those things do hit a lot harder than that, I think. I just can't believe I'm leading the way with a golem. This is like... This is so cool. Let's check out the party chat. Sancho says I look just like... Oh yeah, yeah, okay, we've already heard that. I think they just say random stuff on the world map. Dusty says nay. Dusty says nay again. Scott always, always with the parry. Okay, fine. Alright, let's see if we can find our way down there. I'm not sure we will. Ooh! A freaking firebird? Dude, that's a phoenix, man! Oh, which is getting me hyped for FF16. Okay, let's um, let's kill the golem first, because we know we can recruit those. And then we'll see if the firebird wants to join us. Probably not. Whoa! That one shot, though. No, okay. Well, I, I'm tempted. Can we, can we recruit that, though? Is that a recruitable monster? And where the hell is my 
book going to be? There we go. Let's have a look. Let's have a gander. So, I think... What the... Wow, that is one hell of a name. Holy shit. So, we're just going to go through these... Seeing what we can recruit. Uh, oh, it's unrecruitable. Oh, oh that's kind of lame. That would have been pretty sweet. Right. Ooh. Oh. There's a cave there that we can only get to with the ship. And it looks like it might lead us through the mountains to that river. That's probably what we need to do. But before we head back to the boat, we'll just explore this uh, upper region. Air ducts. <laughs> Air ducts. I love that so much. Uh, yeah, so I think that's what we need to do. That's fine. What does Hocus Pocus do? Take a chance with Lady Luck. Only she knows what will happen. Ooh. It costs 20 MP. Let's give this a try. It's probably gonna it's probably gonna hurt me more than the enemies, isn't it? I wonder if it's gonna be random every time. That's kinda cool. A little bit like uh, metronome from Pokemon or something. Let's see what it does. Oh. It just confused us all. Great! In fact, oh, it confused everyone. Wow. So the enemies are... I, I embraced Scott. Scott was not impressed. At least the enemies hit themselves. How strange. Scott ran away? Oh, you ugly! Oh, that's brilliant. I just wish the, uh, the text is going by a bit fast. He's forgotten how the spell goes. I love... I mean, I hate... The confusion is not ideal. But it's, it is funny in this game. So much more interesting than it is in most other RPGs that I've played. And it seems to last for a long freaking time, too. Uh, yeah, that did not help our cause. But at least the enemies are... Oh, well, one of them's buggered off. And so is the other one. Can we finish this guy? Come on, Scott! Starts muttering something? Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Our golem just buggered off back to the wagon. Are you shitting me? Dude. Come on, can we just not hit it? Like, is there no chance of us hitting this damn thing? Oh my god. Um. <laughs> Does confusion wear off, or do you have to, like, try and cure it? Oh, great. Well, this isn't... Just me and Yangus. And we're not... Oh boy. All right, oh, it finally wore off. Jeez, that lasts forever, dude. That's crazy. Well, okay, at least uh, we know that Hocus Pocus has a chance of being really, really bad. Veronica level 20, though, HP plus 12. Oh, now those are good stats. And we've learned snooze. Alrighty, not too shabby. Yeah, note to self, Hocus Pocus uh, can uh, do really bad things. I'm tempted to try it again, though, just to see what else it can do. Oh, no! It didn't refill my party! Oh, sh shit. Uh, okay, I'm not going to try it then. Um, I should probably try and run. Yeah, that that's, uh, that, that's not good. 
That was not very good at all. Confirm. Right, there we go. Yeah, is there any... Is there going to be anything... Over this way? Whoa! A hypothermian! Now he looks badass. They all do. All of those monsters look cool. Um... Don't know what he's going to do, though. So let's go for a boom spell. Yangus, you don't really have anything offensive yet that's any good. I mean, you got Sizzle, I suppose. Mm. Okay, that was rubbish. Oh no! Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it. I hate enemies. I hate enemies with the wax spell. That sucks butts. And especially since I don't have Kazing. Ugh. Oh well. I think Yangus just missed out on some XP. Ooh, but our golem's level 6. Okay, um, yeah, pretty terrible stats. Not bad HP, I suppose. So we might get some decent levels with uh, with Martin pretty soon. You see, I really don't like Eagle. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a bad name, okay? I just find it weird because it's my own name. Alright? Um, oh boy, I've just absolutely stuffed myself with a spaghetti bolognese, by the way. And I'm, I'm feeling it. <sighs> oh boy, I really... This is why I don't like to eat just before recording or streaming, even though people complain at me because then, then I'm like, Oh, but I'm so hungry. Ah, there's a reason I don't. Um, yeah, let's revive Yangus, please. Hey, first, well, technically second time. Dee 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 dee. Okay. Is there anything up here? Probably not. Oh, two of them. Okay, well, we definitely don't want you casting whack on me again, please. Oh, they're actually... Okay, they're fairly weak. That ain't too bad. Oh, there is something! Oh, there's a shrine! Uh, oh, right, well, more like a house. Built on top of a shrine? Oh, let's check out the well. Nothing! These wells, I'm telling you. Big disappointment. They made him so much better in, like, 8 and 11. Who the hell's this? I say, old stick, are you in the know? N no, no, I'm not. Rumor has it that there's a helmet somewhere in the world known as the Sun Crown. Apparently, it can keep you safe from kamikaze attacks, wouldn't you believe? Oh, I wonder where I can find that. Yangus doesn't have anything to say about the Sun Helm. See the wisdom. Really see the point of seeds of wisdom? Like most monsters seem to have pretty decent wisdom nowadays, anyway. Um, let's check the basement, where a cat lives in his own little room. Meow. Ah, what is this? Oh, it's a diamond. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, mini medal. It feels like forever since we've seen one of them. Any interest in books? Mm, nothing! Wow! Disappointment. Derek? <sighs> okay, well, at least we learned about the sun crown. Wonder where we're gonna find that. Anything behind his house? Uh, no shinies. Don't see anything. Okay, well, at least we explored it. 
Right, now the thing is, it's going to be a bit of a long trek back to the boat. Um, what is it? It might not be. I'm actually just going to meet you back at the boat anyway. Alrighty, we're on the boat, and we're sailing just down the uh, southern coast of this continent. Um, might be something... Might be something over here. I'm just going to quickly make land again, just to see if there's anything down here. You never know, there might be a town or something. Oh, you can fight Hex Helmets here. Um, okay. I'm already cursed with one of my guys, dudes. Oh, and by the way, off-screen, Sancho gained a level, he learned to drain magic, whoop de fucking do And... okay, nothing. Um... Oh shit, are you serious? Okay, well, looks like we're gonna use the, uh... Sheen. So my curse is, curse is wiped away, but I, I guess I was double cursed. So yeah, now I'm not taking damage. I'm, I'm so glad that I don't take damage while wearing this armor, because that would suck. Um, what was I saying? I've completely forgot I was, what I was saying. Oh yeah, Sancho leveled, and so did Gertrude, but nothing else really. Um, so you have not missed much. Uh, but yeah, the golems, as we just see, as we just, <laughs> as we just see, as we just saw, do um, a hell of a lot more damage to my other party members, so... Martin's defense is pretty fucking uh, stupendous. So it's nice to have confirmation of that. 777. Right, back on the boat. And we're heading to this uh, underwater cave. Well, not underwater cave, but you know what I mean. Cave in the water. God, I am absolutely stuffed. I really am. I think I, uh... I think my... My appetite was bigger than my belly. Oof, I'm gonna have to... Oof, I have to have a lie down after this. That indigestion. Not fun. Although eating it was very fun. It was very delicious. We're nearly there, I think. I think. Just around the corner. Uh, there it is. Sod off, Merkings. Why are you so fast? Who's going to get level this time? It's Yangus, level 22. Good number. Okay, better strength this time at least. But he ain't getting much HP. Now, I, again, I do have a bunch of seeds, and I I think I might use them on Yangus. Most of them, anyway. Or do I use them on, on Mage? I don't know. I don't know. I did actually... I forgot to mention, I did get a seed of strength as a random drop. Uh, from one of the enemies off screen, and oh, this is cool. Oh, dude. That's a nice ship. Oh, and we got some uh, similar enemies, and then a Stenturian, which may have been one we've seen before. Um, let's get rid of the Necromancer so we can't revive people. There we go. Very nice gold shiny armor, sir. Well, it looks like you're wearing red rubber gloves. Hey, level 7. Again, pretty good HP. Not much else to speak of. And no new abilities as of yet. Um, okay, what's up this way? I have a feeling we're going to have to go down to get out the, uh, into the river area that we saw. Well, we might as well have a look around before we leave. Uh, 
Oh god, I oh, I'm so I'm so lethargic after I eat a big meal, dude. I'm just like ugh. 975 XP ain't too shabby. Veronica, welcome to level 21. Only 2 HP. MP's a bit better though. And uh, looks fine, I guess. Again, wisdom not really relevant. Because I don't ever use the AI. Um, how big is this cave? Ooh, now these are... A mother ochre? No. <laughs> and a blizzy body. I think we... we oh, have we seen... No, I don't think we have seen the blizzy body, because I think the one we did see was a flame dude. Like a red flame dude. Again, let's take out the necromancer. Mother ochre. Oof. That was nasty. I wonder if um I wonder if my golem could use like clubs or something as weapons. Or if he's just stuck with his fists. Um Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna heal up just in case we run into something here. It kinda looks like it's leading me to an encounter, or a maybe a pretty cool key item. Uh, let's take out these guys first. They seem to do more damage. Uh, Boom's probably not going to do much. I'll try it anyway. Uh, but yeah, I can't wait for my characters to learn some new abilities here. Actually, that was pretty decent. I'd love to learn Kaboom, though. Cloud of dust. Oh, now that's pretty good, actually. I want to kill that Cure Slime last. I mean, I don't know if these are recruitable anyway, but a Cure Slime would also be pretty good to recruit. I am told. Although, I mean, we've got Volley for the multi-heal, and... I don't know. I'd, st I'd still love a Heal Slime. Not today, Zerg. Where's this going? Oh, well, it is an item. I wonder what it's going to be. Alright, same again. Don't need to see this. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Ooh, a Hades Helm. Now that might be good for uh, for Martin. Yeah, and he's, a, well, he's acquired it. Let's see if it will be good. I mean, I don't know what it's going to do. Will that reduce agility or will it reduce some other stat? Because that's totally going to be cursed. That is totally a cursed item. Hello, Max. Welcome to my room. Um... Oh, wait. It doesn't have any special effects. It's not cursed? It isn't cursed, so it would be, it would be good. In fact... He's the only one that can use it. So, 242 defense. Oh, boy. That is rather nice. Oh, shit. I... Okay. Equip. Ooh, let's put the Iron Helmet back in the bag. That is... Oh, my lord. That defense. Jesus Christ. I mean, Mage has only got 102 defense. He's quite squishy. Um. Oh, wait. Why don't I have armor equipped on mage? What? What? Why doesn't mage have any armor equipped, guys? Mage, what are you doing? Why have you not got the silver mail equipped? What are you doing? Why did he not have anything equipped? Is it because he was turned to stone? Well, that's... That's got to help us now. Is there any other armor that'd be better for him? I know I had some zombie mail, restless armor. That's ooh, that's cursed. Okay, not really keen on giving him that. Um, yeah, I don't don't think I do have anything better. I did have zombie mail somewhere. 
I don't know where it's gone. Oh, there it is. And that isn't cursed. Is that going to be better for mage? We can't equip it anyway. Can anyone equip that? No. Okay. So at least he's got armor equipped again now. Jesus. What the hell, dude? Huh. <sighs> I'll be damned. Kill you guys. Well, at least Mage won't be taking quite as much damage anymore. Bloody hell. Oh, that crit though. 286. Christ on a cracker. And again, not too shabby XP from those things. Alright, let's heal up. You know what I did last night? Well, yesterday. Actually, I watched it over two days because it was really long. I finally got round. With, this is something I've been meaning to do for years, by the way. I finally got round to re-watching uh, Lord of the Rings. Or at least the first one. I'm going to watch them all. But um, I watched the first one. Fellowship. The extended edition. Holy shit, that's a lot of Men of Wars. Because um, I've not seen it since I was a kid. Probably since I was about 11, I'd say. And I remember not thinking it was that great. Like, it was fine, you know, but I, I never I never became a huge Lord of the Rings fan. Um, Two Towers, I remember being my favorite out of the three, so I'm really hyped to see that again. Um, but my god, I really enjoyed it. I, I legitimately really enjoyed watching Lord of the Rings again. So, yeah, I mean, as, a, as an adult now, many, I mean, the film's like nearly 20 years old, which I can't believe. It really doesn't look 20 years old. I mean, some of the effects have dated a little bit, but it just it's a great looking film still. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed it more than I thought I would. So here's a tip for you guys. If you've not seen a film in a long time and you remember it being pretty meh, give it another try. You might, you might find yourself liking it a bit more. Now that your brain's developed a little bit and your tastes have evolved. Uh, in fact, I'd love to hear any stories of people doing that? Like, are there any films that you revisited over the years that you didn't initially like, but when you watched it back again with, um, oh, another top hat. You know, as, a, as an older person, did you enjoy them anymore? Because, um, I'm telling you, I, I that speech from Aragorn at the end, oh, got me hyped for the next one. And I know what happens in the next one, but I'm still hyped. Oh, so good. And I suppose it goes both ways. Like, I'm sure there's films that I really enjoyed as a kid that if I watch nowadays might not hold up as well. But I'd love to hear any stories that you have, chaps. What is over here? Any other chesticles? No. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was really good. I mean, like I said, I'm watching the extended editions because I've heard that they're better. But they're nearly like four hours each, dude. So I like I watched two hours one day and then finished it off the next day. It's quite the uh, time commitment. But it, it's just been ages since I've watched a film in general. So it was it was quite a nice change. So I enjoyed it quite a lot. And I'm sick of fighting these necrom ne necromancers. They said necromancers. Hey, can we get another level for Martin? Come on. Yes, level 8. Another 12 HP. Muster Strength. Ooh. 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 What does that do? I mean, it probably just increases his, uh, his strength, I would think. Which is actually good, because his strength kind of sucks, uh, sucks monkey dick. Yeah, nah, these fights... Uh, you know what, actually, we'll, we'll show off this muster strength. Let's give it a try. Save up energy to bolster the next attack. Yeah, I mean... It's probably not worth doing. Because... I mean, his attack isn't great anyway. But we'll see how it goes. And he's gonna attack last, so I might as well just defend with everyone, because otherwise they're just gonna kill that thing. All right, 77. Wow. Still, uh, at least he's learned something. It's got level 32. Excellent. 
Nothing new for Scott, though. Alright. Ooh, yeah, we got some treasures in this cave. Now, is this going to be a mimic? No, just a mini medal. Very nice. I'll gladly take that. Okay, guys, we get the picture. Right, let's try and get out of here. God, the encounter rate is really high in here. Oh my lord, that's a lot of bli- Oh, this could be dangerous. Especially if they all use that uh, breath attack kind of thing. Ooh, okay. Let's go for a boom. I really, really need Yangus or someone to learn something better. Or even Veronica, because she's probably going to get back on the team at some point. I must admit, though, like, I really am... Now that I've got the Golem as well, he seems really good. I'm, I'm, I wish I didn't... I wish I had more than four spots on the party. I really do have a lot of good options. Like, Volley is great to have for the multi-heal, and... Oh, I really am spoiled for choice. Uh, Yangus, level 23. Again, crappy HP and MP, and uh, two strength. But he has learned Insulate, which might come in handy. Uh, Veronica, level 22, good number. Nine MP. Okay. Ooh, Kasap, very nice. Very nice. Let's get a quick heal. In fact, do you want to say anything, guys? This place is huge! Fancy being able to fit a whole ship inside! Yeah, and, I mean, quite a few ships, probably. The breeze tastes so salty. I suppose it's always like this by the sea. Yeah, do you think? Do you think someone made this? Or do you think it's natural? It's amazing, don't you think, Dad? Yeah, it's pretty damn cool. Does, um... Oh, I forget. Yeah, Veronica won't talk because she's not technically in my party, even though she's obviously on the ship. Okay. Three of you guys. Okie dokie. Dun dun dun. Sancho! Sancho. Great. Level 26. Yay for Sancho, everyone. Yay for Sancho. I mean, we love Sancho, we do, but just not as a party member because I'm just never going to use him. Never going to use him. Oh, we're going under the bridge. Ooh. Three more of you guys, seriously. Ooh, nice one shot though. Yeah, physically attack me, that's fine, that does nothing. That's good in my book. Uh hmm. Now do we go up or down? I think we'll go up first. God damn necromancers! Man, I just got, like, all the critical hits on those guys. Yeah, let's go up and see if there's any treasure. Oh. Oh, well, that's probably a door we can't open. But we'll have to remember that because, um... Yeah, we're gonna come back and check that out. Once we do get a key. Uh... Yeah, I'm guessing we won't be able to open that just yet, so I'm not going to bother going over to check it out. Uh, we're just going to try and get out of this freaking cave and then probably call it a video, because it has been... has been probably about the length of uh, an average video for me, so... Oh, mage is poisoned. Oh, no! No! Does anyone have squelch? Yeah, Scott has squelch. Thanks, Scott. Mm, this is this is quite a long cave. Oh my god! I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run. Ah, oh, of course, of course. That chilly breath. Not fun. I probably should have just, just attacked them. Oh no, Scott's paralyzed. Mother Arca. 
I like that. I like it probably too much. Alright, we're nearly done. Jesus. Let's spam that X button. Yeah! Two hits, two kills. And we're out. We're finally out. Okay, we did in fact make it to the river. So, this is where I'm going to end the video, chaps. Thank you for watching. Next time, we'll, we'll sail down the river and arrive at that lovely uh, castle town, it seemed. And there's also, obviously, that sunken structure in the river that we will probably find our way into through the other cave we saw. I'm very excited to check it out. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, look after yourselves, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now. This is Snake, telling you to subscribe to Mage Masher 22 on YouTube and Twitch. Snake out.